What's up? Tonight is finally the release of the uh, PS4 at midnight. I have mine pre-ordered. Right now I'm just driving around and I uh, happen to go by a Best Buy and there is a line of people sitting outside waiting. As you can see, say hi to YouTube! <laughs> so they've been waiting out there I guess for a couple days now. There's a, a group of people in our area that wait for like nine or ten days before uh, something big arrives and they actually go in like a shift. Um, they all like, you know will share uh, six or seven hours and then while one of them's at work the other one will take over. I know the guy in the front of the line back there he's been the front of the line for almost every single major release of a system or a big game so good for him. I have mine pre-order and I don't have to worry about it and I'm not gonna sell my system online so I'm just gonna go at midnight. There's already a line of people at GameStop waiting to see if there's any extra PS4s. This is where I'm getting mine from at midnight. The way that GameStop is going to sell any extra systems that they have that were not pre-ordered is they're going to uh, announce to anyone that's waiting um, in the store, like in line, at 6 o'clock, they're going to say how many that they will have for sale um, and then just sell them at that point. That way those people can come back at midnight like everyone else. Um, and they don't have to actually stand in line here and wait all the way till midnight. Um, you know, that's a big help. It'll also, you know, let people uh, go somewhere else if at 6 o'clock we say, hey, we only have, you know, five extra or whatever. Um, and then they don't have to stand here all day until midnight to find that out. And then they won't get pissed off and try to steal someone else's system or whatever. So I think it's a good idea. They ended up having two extra systems that sold like that right at 6 o'clock. Uh, basically, the people would come back and pick them up at midnight, but that was it. Only two extras. All right, it's like 9.30 at night. This is Frank, my friend Frank. We both have beautiful PS4 t-shirts on. He had a small, then an extra large, then a small again. Can't decide what size he wants to wear, but... Uh, what, what is like the number one game that you're wanting to play right now on PS4 that you can't play on PS3? Hmm, I can't. FIFA? You can play that on PS3. <laughs> like uh, Killzone or Knack or... Destiny. Destiny? Okay, that's, that's something one. I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that as well. I, I'm picking up, I have three games to play. I have Killzone, Knack, and Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Katie's really going to play Black Flag, but you actually bought a system for yourself and then one for your friend. Yep. And uh, no, he's not going to sell it online. It's actually going to a, to a realistic friend, not a, a eBay friend or anything. So that'd be bad. Yeah. Which is appropriate since this is the city Watching where the console the, uh, was announced back in press February. Press conference. Uh, Andy, uh, uh, for what has been the highlight what is the announcement for you a couple games? This year. Yeah, a couple uh, new games. I think the and obviously for the minute at least it's PS4. It was, Watching uh, on Danny's fancy little phone. <laughs> <laughs> is everybody ready for the Xbox One? Yeah. Woo. No. Okay. Getting everyone lined up outside, almost ready. Woo! There they are, in their own little personal black bags, so no one can tell their PS4 systems. Tons of people walking out of GameStop, <laughs> yeah. I wonder what they have. Mysterious black packages, that's weird. Alright, we watched the rest of that press conference, they announced a new Uncharted game. Um, and some new DLC for The Last of Us. I just got my PS4, and now I'm gonna go home, set it up, and uh, show you the uh, games I got with it. Katie, I'm home with the PS4. You wanna play? It's only uh, one o'clock at night. <laughs> Am I disturbing you? <laughs> the cats can come play with me, it's all right. Katie is so passed out, she has no idea what just happened. She was just mumbling to me, but uh, quickly I'll just show you uh, the things that I got over the past couple weeks now, because the accessories and games have been slowly, you know, coming in, shipping, and uh, you can pick them up right when they arrive for the most part. Um, here is the PS4. Very interesting shape. Sort of a, a slant to the uh, front and back there. Nice and sleek. It's actually not as uh, big, I guess, or heavy, I guess, as I was expecting. It doesn't seem to weigh much more than, like, the slim PS3s did. Um, so what, a year from now we'll have the slimmed down version of the PS4 probably, but uh, not that bad of a size on it. And the box that came in, they're, they're sort of like a, a briefcase style box opens up in the front. It has a little handle in case you want to tote it around. And then I picked up an extra controller, which I had showed a little while back, and my uh, copy of Killzone Shadowfall. Um, I got <coughs> Knack which, if you're maybe a fan of games like 
Ratchet and Clank, uh, Jack and Daxter, um, just uh, cool adventure type games. Uh, this is a two player game. And it's probably the most unique of all, like, the launch titles, at least in the sense of it's not, you know, just a shooter or a sports game or something. So, um, maybe want to check out Knack. And then, <clears throat> the last game that I picked up is the uh, Collector's Edition uh, for Assassin's Creed Black Flag on the PS4, which we did not get very uh, many of these at all. In fact, I think my store had two of these come in. Um, both obviously pre-orders, mine, mine and the uh, store manager, so uh, a pretty limited limited edition, uh, at least on the PS4, obviously. It also came out uh, for 360, PS3, and uh, I believe also Xbox One obviously had uh, uh, the limited edition pre-orders for it as well. So that is it from, for the stuff that I have picked up now for the PS4, for the launch of the PS4. It's finally here. I'm going to edit this little video and get it up right uh, after... <laughs> right, right after I get my system set up, I guess. But um, uh, I didn't. I wasn't gonna do like a review of each game or anything like that. There's tons of uh, uh, YouTube channels that you can go check out the video and gameplay of all these games. Um, so either go do that or go watch or go play your own system if you picked one up. Um, but thank you for watching. If you did, thumbs up the video if you don't mind, and I will see you all later. Peace.